Hey guys, today I'd like to tell you a little bit about Airbus A320 cargo doors operation. So let's go straight into it. The forward and aft cargo compartment doors have a manual locking mechanism and open hydraulically away from the aircraft. Both cargo doors have a safety feature in form of the vent flap, as a prevention against opening in case of airplane is pressurized, but in my case there is no pressure and I'm able to unlock the doors. And now I can activate yellow hydraulic pump by selector valve to open cargo doors. By pushing selector valve to open or close position I can redirect hydraulic flow to extend or retract of the two door actuators. When the cargo door is fully open, the green indicator light on the control panel comes on. This light indicates that the door actuators are mechanically locked in the extended position and it is safe to work in this area. For closing of the cargo doors, I need to move selector valve to close position, but before that selector valve goes to the intern position, which will activate the electric pump and that will supply the door hydraulic system with high pressure fluid. The fluid pressurizes the door actuators on extension side and this way we can be sure that the door after the release of the locks will not fall. When pressure is sufficient, the selector moves to the close position to pressurize the door actuators on the retraction side. The high pressure fluid release the mechanical locks, door actuators and retract them. Then aft cargo doors start to close and the green indicator lights goes off. And when doors are closed, I can mechanically lock them with the handle. Now, what are the power sources for yellow hydraulic system? As I mentioned before, on the ground we are using electric pump, which you can find in the right hydraulic compartment. But what if the pump is out of order and we need to open the cargo doors? Well, we have of course engine driven pump which I really not recommend to use since engine need to run and if you will try that, you can end up like this guy. Of course clever guys in Airbus have been thinking about this and they add the third option for us. We can use hand pump which is located in yellow ground service panel. And how to use it? We're gonna need two people and this lever. And by the way, we are using same lever for servicing of the hydraulic system. But pump for that is on the other side. And by the way, lever is extendable, so everybody will be able to operate the hand pump. Okay. I'm ready. Meanwhile, my colleague unlocked the cargo doors and he is ready to operate selector valve. And now we follow the same procedure as we use yellow hydraulic pump, except at the moment I am the power source, so it is much slower. A few moments later. After endless pumping, the door is finally open and actuators are locked. And for closing of the doors, we need to do the same thing, except we swap the positions. Pump it! Pump it! The doors are closed and locked and all what's remaining is to store the lever. And as always guys, please don't use this video as a manual. I'm just trying to show you how things works. Always follow the AMM. This is the way. This is all what I want to show you guys today. As always, thank you for your time. Many thanks to my colleague for his help. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see more content which is coming soon. My name is Tomasz, this was Aircraft Maintenance with Zetor and I will see you on the next one.